Tomorrow must be better today. Oh, oh, oh. Here back tomorrow. Ooh, yeah. The storm is Thank you, thank you, Heavenly King, for today, O King of Glory, because you are worthy of praise. We thank you for today, and we are here, and I'm here for today, O Father, living the present, and I'm happy for the weather, the day, and the blessings that you have given me today. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It is a Saturday, but I would want to say one, of, one thing for those who are following me. We are going to be in a journey of uh, to, to do something for ourselves. We need to look at inside who we are, the inner us, and bring it out to match the outside. We don't need to be in two lives that this is what I want other people to see, but my inner person is not happy with what I have put on. Mm -mm. It is about self still. It's about self. To be happy, you have to make sure that your inner self, your heart, your spirit, your mind speaks the same thing is when you will be happy. Now, one thing I want to talk about is um, anti-aging games <laughs> or activities, you would say like that. Anti-aging, uh, why anti-aging? Of course, I am in the fifth floor. I need to take care. <laughs> so, just to make you aware of things that you could do, to keep young and active as you take this journey with me. Walking and doing exercise for 20 minutes daily. Walking and then taking 20 minutes exercise is important for you to avoid Alzheimer's. Okay. Alzheimer's is when you start forgetting names, forgetting the present things, but not the long-term uh, memories. Your subconscious still works. You know what happens in 1960, 1970, 1980, but you can't remember what happened yesterday, which was Friday. Okay? You might even forget the person standing in front of you, this is so and so. But you really know you had a daughter. So, that helps. It helps you not to get there. So that your mind don't get to get Alzheimer's or this dementia. Walking and doing exercise, very key. And remember, it's one of the things we are doing for self-care. Then number two. Play mental engaging games, e.g. chess, you dance, dance is also good, dance is engaging, dance, chess, uh, learning language, and uh, monopoly, you know, those things, it, it makes your brain work. Let's say, which language do you want to learn? Possibly choosing a language it's not like saying, oh, I'm a lawyer, I want a lawyer. Oh, th that is limiting you. What are the major languages in the world? We have, if you have English, Kiswahili, French, uh, Spanish, Germany, those are key. You see? So you choose one. 
you have known the two now choose a number one is it french is it spanish is it german or mandarin Mad mandarin mandarin yeah then you, if you have three major languages you can travel most of the globe uh -huh. so that you are not stuck so do that mental engaging things number three avoid poisons like smoking alcohol lead toxics like also being angry and agitated most of the time that thing it makes you older you know it frustrates the skin and your men I mean, your mental so these things are anti-aging games how to uh, to be young and to keep diseases and things away from you as long as you can you can reach 90 or 95 or 100 without having alzheimer's and other things dementia what else that affects the brain because you have not okay this social support is a good thing develop social support because they found out that isolation is a killer makes you grow older so social support is a good thing you can volunteer even volunteer your work when you are in those group in those activities you are not isolated you are in exercise group yoga group uh, church group singing group i don't know what group you want to say volunteering in prisons volunteering in a children's home volunteering sweeping the streets where do you want to volunteer baby daycare all babysitting children playing with children is a very good thing yes mm -hmm. number five Having a purpose direction, choose a course of your life or the path of your life. Don't have many things and nothing, ending having nothing. You start doing this, this, and this, and there are so many right tabs, exercise, nini, everything is on the, in your corner of projects. But nothing you're doing. Choose one and follow. You could be a writer, teacher, motivation. Those are in one direction. Facilitator. In one direction. Not this, that, that. So have a purpose and focus. Okay? Relaxation techniques. Like reading is relaxing, yoga, games, laughs, comedy. What relaxes you, it's you who knows. For me, I know laughing at comedy, watching comedy, um, playing with my grandchild, just those things. Exercise, of course, and the stretches, dances, relaxes me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. mm, you are thinking I don't dance. I do. <laughs> Number seven. Partner with a doctor to know really which part of yourself you need to take care of. Is it the nutrition part? Is it the exercise part? Is it fruits and vegetables? Vitamin B? What do you need in your life so that you complete? Your health is complete. So partnering with a doctor, that means go for doctor's check. Is my weight okay? Okay. So number eight is protect your head. We, we, we talked of the head is the engine of the body. If brain injury stops most of the things. So you have to protect your head. 
you have to protect your head with all the things you can to avoid the Alzheimer's we talked about brain injury also because if I knock I have a hit on my head here what this part of the brain is is doing for my body will be affected and possibly it will be this is the left side will be coordinating my right, right side so my right hand and my left leg might not be moving that is the, the psychomotor might not be working but most probably the interpretation for my my hearing will be affected and this is part of the emotional part of your body if, if your brain if you know the lobes of the brain each part has a function like the balance we have this part if somebody hits you here, most of the time if somebody is in burglary or uh, thugs hit them and they are hit with the metal or something at the back, they fall immediately because it's the balance, it's the psychomotor, it's everything. And most probably you'll die because they are, it's the brain stem that is hit at this part and it cuts most of the communication from the brain to the rest of the body and that's how people die when they are hit here even if they are hit with karate badly hit somebody can die so know and protect yourself okay eat cut Number nine, to, to have anti-aging gains, you have to eat colorfully. That is Mediterranean uh, diet. That means you have the red, the yellow, the green, the, everything on your plate. That's vegetables and fruits. Mm -hmm. Then number ten, gratitude, positive emotional outlook. Positive self-talk, which we have said, is something we need to do every day in the mirror. Be thankful every morning or be thankful every day. That keeps you young. Uh, these topics, this what I've just talked about, you could comment on this video and say how or what you want to know more about that. I'm not an expert of anti-aging because others use chemicals, others use what, but these are the simple things we can do ourselves. And remember, my YouTube is just ourselves. What you can do for yourself, not somebody else doing for you. I've been talking about what I can do for myself. I can watch videos and just laugh. Play chess, play those things, exercise, eat vegetables for me to keep 35. I'm 35. The opposite is 53. <laughs> God bless. And remember to be honest.